Shepherd, your confidence coach for women, here to help you um, go from feeling like a hot mess on the inside to a fierce success in all aspects of your life, right? Oftentimes on the outside, we can feel, not that we feel, we look as if we have a really blessed life and things are going amazing, but on the inside, we feel like a hot mess sometimes. And this video is going to really speak to that, right? Because we can post all day on social media that this is good and that's good and funny memes and, you know, us with the success and all of that. But oftentimes as women, I find that on the inside, we often feel like a hot mess, even though we're posting all of these blessings and making it seem like we have all the success. But I want to show you how to have true success, right, from the inside out so that what you post in is really in alignment and really in alignment with how you really truly feel. So make sure you are following me on Facebook and Instagram at Unleash Fierce. Make sure you are following my YouTube channel at Unleash Your Fierce, okay? So here are three things I want you to remember, right, if you feel as though you're in a rut, when you feel as though you're not confident, when you are feeling weary, because as women, we feel that way more times than not, no matter how much we're posting online, or not posting or looking at what other people are doing or worrying about what other people might think or feel or say about us, we oftentimes will have, you know, a really good period or passion in our lives. Um, and then we'll hit a space where we don't feel confident, right? So we'll feel like we have something good going and then we'll get distracted or then we'll fall off and then we'll feel weary or what we've been doing no longer works anymore, right? And we have to kind of reposition ourselves so that we are able to get to that next level of success in our lives, right? And that's the first thing I want you to remember is that oftentimes when you're feeling weary, when you're not feeling confident, that means you're going through a transition, right? And oftentimes in our society, we kind of overlook transitions because we think they're supposed to be joyous times. So for example, say you are about, you're engaged and you're about to get married. So much so often we focus on, oh my God, I'm planning for my wedding and my guests and this and that, but we don't realize that at the same time, internally, you're going through a transition. You're about to become a wife and a partner for a lifetime. And while we are planning the cake decorations, Sometimes we overlook the inner stuff that's going on because nine times out of 10, you have some level of fear, right? That's coming up, some level of confidence. There are some issues you probably still haven't handled before you walk across that, walk across that, um, that walk down the aisle, walk to the altar, right? But we in our society, we focus on, oh my God, I have to get the photographer. I have to get the cake. The same is true when you go to become a new mom. You're like, oh my God, I got this new baby. And that's what you're focused on. But you don't handle all the inner shit that comes up, right? Where it's like, oh my God, I'm about to be responsible for a person. Or if you already have a kid, I'm about to have another person I got to be responsible for, right? And you might start to get weary. Like, what if the dad is not there? What if I don't have the money? What, right? We don't always handle all of those questions and sometimes we suffer in silence dealing with all of the shit in our head right because again in our society we don't acknowledge these fucking transitions sorry I did just <laughs> I did just say the f word because I'm like super serious right and when you're going through those are just two examples but even if it's you getting a new position at work um you still have to transition it's awesome oh I'm about to make this new level of money but it's okay a lot of people are like oh I want to make all of this money but there are people who make like a hundred thousand and they're still broke because they don't they haven't managed the inner money mindset. It don't matter how much money you have if you're if you're broke. Like a lot of some athletes, some of them I've been reading a lot of stories as of recently where they have their money and then they do they invest with it, they start franchise, you know, of restaurants and things like that, so that when they retire their stuff is together. But then there are other people that are like, oh, I'm getting money, cars, clothes, hoes, and all this other stuff. And, you know, they didn't really prepare, they didn't realize I'm transitioning from, you know, being here to going here. There is a transition that comes along with that. And transition has three different phases to it. The first part of a transitional phase, right? And the part where you're weary is that you haven't let go and surrendered. That's the first part of it is letting go, which is easy. Like, God, I surrender it to you. That's that seems hard. That is hard, but that's actually the easiest. And imagine it's kind of like winter time, right? Where everything is kind of like, you know, slowing down. And it's almost like a process of, you know, everything's kind of died down and you're kind of just letting it go. And it's a period of your time. Right, right in the winter is cold. Everybody's kind of into themselves. You kind of let go. Then you move into a space of 
of the in-between time. Like, once you surrender, then it's like, okay, God, what do I do next? And you're just like, I don't know. That's really where you feel weary. You don't feel confident. You feel like you're in a rut. You feel like you're failing. You feel like you're good enough. That's where it really the shit hits the fan in that particular part. You're in the in-between time. And then next phase of transition, I said it's three different parts. It's letting go. It's that in-between phase. And then the last phase is the rebirth, right? And that's kind of when you start to come out of the storm and you kind of feel a lot better and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You see the rainbow out after the storm. So think of it as letting go is the winter time when everything is dying. It's almost like a, a period of grief or mourning. Then you're in that in between. Think about in between winter and spring where it's kind of cold outside, but then it's kind of warm. It's that in between. You don't know what, what the jacket to put on. It's the same feeling of feeling weary and not knowing what to do or where to go, right? And then you get to spring where then it starts to get warmer and nicer. You can put on your little dress. You know, you feel a whole lot better, but it's that transition that, that you're going going through and oftentimes we just don't realize that and we so often we want to slay all day we want to be confident all the time and that's a good myth right you not, can't necessarily you're not going to slay all day you're not going to be confident all the time sometimes you're going to feel weary because you're always going to be going through transitions because God's always trying to position you to get to the next level of success so that you can stay in alignment with the destiny he has for you or in alignment with the purpose he has for you or in alignment with the person he really wants you to be with and marry but sometimes when you get off the path he got to find a way to get you back on the path so he has to transition you to the next level of success and the only way to make it through that transition more smooth so that you are confident and you are fierce and you have this aura about you and you have this magnetism and you're vibrating at a certain level is to be powerfully positioned as a woman from the inside out right if you want to win in this life you got to get right from within i love when lauren hill says that I, that's my that's like my new motto how you going to win when you ain't right within that's the main thing so you need to get you some wisdom you need to get you a coach you need to get you some guidance so that you can powerfully position yourself to win at every single level